hello you guys welcome back to my channel this is a lazy sunday vlog i decided to just pick up my vlog camera i had no intentions but i tried to stay in bed as long as i could today and i thought it'd be fun to do more of like a real kind of just like lazy day sort of vlog i literally stayed in bed until three o'clock you guys will see and then i end up being counterproductive we go to trader joe's all the fun things but yeah i just started off my morning i actually watched a christmas movie on netflix made a cup of coffee brought it back to bed it was delightful then after my coffee i made a yummy breakfast sandwich i do that when i have more time and it's just oh so good and then i got back in bed and ate my sandwich yeah <laughs> Good morning, guys. Well, now it's 12.32. I've been a lazy bum this morning and I'm okay with it. I'm exiling myself to my bed and forcing myself because last Sunday I wanted to stay in bed all day and then my boyfriend and I ended up doing a thrift store challenge, which obviously was so much fun, but sometimes I just like can't relax and it's good too. So um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I've got the candles going, watching YouTube, like who is she? This is just a super real, super chill, lazy Sunday vlog. Um, I do need to go to grocery shopping though. So I wanna go to Trader Joe's, my roommate, my roommate and I, Delaney and I, are gonna go grocery shopping. There'll be a haul, I'll probably buy myself some more flowers, cause that's what I do. Just posted a TikTok on the clock, but the party don't stop. The lighting in here is so bad, I'm so sorry. I don't wanna open my blinds because my I have um, blackout curtains and they're just magical. I kinda might take a bath. Like, I don't really know, man. I'm just kinda like feeling the day. I'm trying to like show my personality more on YouTube too. Like someone pointed out like when I have my friends in my vlogs, I show more of myself and I think it's because when I'm talking to a camera I'm more like hey guys what's up and like this is me obviously I'm very real on the camera but I do have like a fun goofy sassy I don't really know what side I have but yeah I'm trying to show that more and I feel like today I'm about to just be on my ish I don't have any pants on just a shirt in bed just devoured a breakfast sandwich I made and yeah probably gonna grab my computer here in a second and work on some gift guides um, for Christmas because I want to make like a gift guide slash Christmas wishlist video. Um, so yeah, that is like counterproductive, but like I enjoy it. Like I enjoy doing that, but I'm gonna do it from bed, don't worry. Thought I'd let you guys know what I'm up to, but yeah, I'm trying to also chug water because I did drink wine last night. That did happen. <laughs> okay, see you guys next time I update you. Looking at clothes, because why not? Watching Lauren Elizabeth on YouTube. It's her current favorite products video, so probably gonna end up buying something because of her, because I always do. So the fire alarm's going off. Ugh. I wanted to stay in bed. No. Ah. <laughs> Looks so bad. This is not ideal. I was trying to stay in bed all day today. We hear a fire truck, so. All right, so update, everyone's okay. Everyone's completely fine. I guess like a water pipe broke in our parking deck, so there's just water spewing everywhere. But the alarm just went off. <laughs> I was very underprepared though. I was like really looking rough and we had to stand out there for like a hot minute, but it's okay. I am now going to eat a pear and continue watching YouTube and online shopping. Delaney and I just planned our meals for the week. We're gonna do fried rice. She really wants to make some pesto orzo. We've made it a couple times and then chicken and broccoli. Oops. Spilling here, so we're prepared to buy the ingredients at Trader Joe's today. I'm 100% about to eat mac and cheese for lunch. This is real, this is me. Tell me that doesn't look just stunning. Back in bed now, gonna watch some casual Gossip Girl, something that doesn't distract me too much, something I've seen a thousand times, because it is time, my friends, to start doing some schoolwork. I do have an online quiz I have to take later, um, and then um, I have, I have like a lot of school this coming week, like just like, I think it's just because it's like right before Thanksgiving. I have an exam on Tuesday that I really, really like have to study for. So I'm working on a study guide right now for that. 
um i love making study guides does anyone else feel the same way like just filling in all the information it's really satisfying to me and then um i have another exam on friday in my trend forecasting class i have i think it's like a four or five page paper due on thursday that i haven't started so i mean that's very normal for me i usually wouldn't have started it by now but yeah so i think right now i'm just gonna like lightly tap into the studious mind it's 3 20 right now still haven't left my bed well i have left my bed but you guys know what i mean like i'm still in bed without the buttons open you guys are probably like you are lazy but this was the goal for today oh so, yeah that's what's happening i'm gonna start getting into the studious mindset with the study guide and then probably shower and then delaney and i will probably go to trader joe's i don't really know what her timeline is she's kind of just in her room right now too um i also do want to try this 12 3 30 situation where you go on the treadmill kenzie's talked about it I saw it on tiktok recently you put an incline of 12 on the treadmill speed three for 30 minutes and apparently it's super effective because like i'm not going to spin today um and i try not to go to spin every day so yeah i might do that later just like as a little endorphin boost because i'm definitely just like in bed um i need to stop it though i like feel guilty sometimes for just like being in bed but it's a sunday like that's what it's for and i really really am enjoying it i'm trying to embrace it I'm craving kombucha though you guys i haven't had kombucha in like a week and a half because i haven't gone grocery shopping in so long and i ran out a while ago those are all just the thoughts in my head so i'm gonna work on the study guide for my dress society test just have some guys of girl on in the background and i'll update you guys later oh i need my blue light glasses today's blue light glasses are these they're like the super inexpensive ones from amazon i also just placed some orders on princess polly and asos that i will 100 percent be doing a try on haul for you guys so get ready for that when those come in the mail All right, the time has come. I got a lot of my study guide done. I need to kind of clean my room a little bit. It's 4.55. Um, Delaney and I are finally about to go to Trader Joe's. Wow, this is the first time I'm opening the blinds. Craziness, and now like the sun's beginning to set. That's funny. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm going to tidy up my bed. Okay, hey guys, so I'm changing right now for Trader Joe's and I've been doing this type of bun a lot recently when I work out, when I'm just like, want my hair on my face, but I want it to look like kind of chic, whatever. And a lot of you guys asked for me to do like a little tutorial of it, so I'm gonna show you guys. It's very, very simple. I don't always get it on the first try, so we're gonna, we're gonna see here. Basically, I flip all my hair over and I brush it down so I get all the smoothness and all the baby hairs all together at least. Here we go. Wrapping it around a couple times, pulling it through. You want a lot of hair at the end so you can wrap it around the hair tie. And then there you go, you just tuck it in. I'm gonna use these Naturally Serious Cold Press Peel Pads. I'm gonna take my Ojai Skin Quench Serum, it's the matcha one. My face and then finish off here with the Sunday Riley CEO glow. It's a great everyday um, Serum and it definitely gives you a glow needless to say I added some earrings just to feel something <laughs> I'm wearing this sweatshirt from um, ASOS actually ASOS is like one of my new favorite stores All right, here is my outfit for Trader Joe's I'm wearing a Lululemon sports bra underneath because I'm gonna work out later Hopefully again, I said sweatshirts from ASOS Ooh, lemon leggings. And then these are the Nike Zoom sneakers, I think. I haven't worn them in a while. And then my mask is from Shop No Cap. I'm obsessed with it. It is so cute. The sky is so pretty tonight, you guys. Just loaded up the car, waiting on Delaney to load up her stuff. Ah, oh, so pretty. Grocery cart coming in clutch. Once again, haul coming at you very soon. Alrighty, it's Trader Joe's haul time. If there's anything you want to show in specific too, feel free to pop it in. Caesar salad with chicken. It's a good lunch. Zucchini for our pesto orzo. The best margarita pizza ever. Oh yeah, that's ever. good. 
chicken gyoza pot stickers. Delaney got some as well because they're so good. Vintage and Kill Greek yogurt dip. It's such a great snack as well. I got tired of it for a while, but I think I'm ready to eat it again. Pears, a great snack. Cherry tomatoes for our pesto orzo meal. Ooh. Mexican style roasted corn. Have you had oh. corn? Like street corn? Looks yummy to me. I got four kombuchas. It's been a minute, missed it. Guys, Delaney and I apparently almost, she almost bought this bowl and put it back. She's like, now nah, we don't need it, but I bought it, so we have it. It's because we don't have, this is called an olive wood bowl. And um, it's really beautiful, actually. And we always need a little dipping bowl for olive oil when we do our cheese boards and soy sauce. And so I got it. They were like advertising them. Laundry detergent. Never tried Trader Joe's laundry detergent. Orzo for our pesto orzo. We got two pestos. Oh, it's vegan pesto. I didn't even know that. Green beans. So yummy. Chicken, because Delaney's going to make chicken fried rice. Oh, a lot of people asked how we split groceries. And we're very unconventional about it. We both just like grocery shop and we'll say like, okay, Delaney's gonna buy. We plan our dinners before the week starts. Yes, we plan our dinners before the week starts and then we basically so like, just buy get one meal, meal, I'll get another meal. And then the rest is just our own food. Yeah, well we usually do like three. So we'll do like, but like I bought- get eggs? No. I don't see, I got the eggs. Oh. Like I'll buy, like I bought the chicken for the Chicken fried rice that she's gonna make because she's buying all the other stuff for it. Cause we're, anyways, yeah, we're pretty like we don't like keep track of everything. That's just like, I don't know. That's just not how we do it. We just cause like we eat each other's stuff sometimes, and we'll share a lot. So that's kind of how we do it. Cause I feel like a lot of people are asking us about that. Got these long boards, organic tortilla chips. I'm gonna dip these in the spinach and kale dip. Usually I use pretzels, but I was feeling something different. These are really fun. Did you get these stickers too? No. Green what? bean casserole. She th he threw it in the top of mine. Got some bananas, ooh na na. I'm also gonna try these cauliflower crisps to dip into my dip as well. Baby carrots, what's new? And then two things of these mighty, mighty blueberries. Oh darling, that's Juice. disgusting. That was celery from a long time ago. Sometimes we forget. Do you guys ever forget produce in your fridge? Because sometimes we do. Oh my god, the Sauvignon Blanc. Because oh. we always get the Pinot Grigio. I haven't tried this. Have you? Sav Blanc. I have not. Two buck check. Making this spinach tortellini for dinner. I was gonna make green beans as well, but I don't know if I have the energy because I still have to take a quiz. Manja di Tagosta. I think that means eat it all up in Italian. My family always says that. All right, dinner is done. I'm gonna let my food digest and take this quiz that I've been putting off literally all day. It's basically a test. Like it's a quiz, but it's like a test. It is open note. Well, we can use our textbook. So I'm happy about that. Um, and then I plan to go walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes, listen to a podcast or something. I think that'll be really good. I'm gonna try the 12, 330 method. And then the People's Choice Awards are on tonight and Delaney and I really want to watch, so that's kind of the layout for the night. I'm really happy I decided to vlog today. Like I had no plans to do and I woke up this morning and I was like, this is going to be a lazy day so I feel like I need to document it. It's gotten a little bit more productive, but like, I don't know. I'm just glad I just decided to film, like, cool. Incline of 12, speed of 3, 30 minutes, let's do this. We are done. Okay, that's hype. I burned 300 calories doing that. Sounds good to me. Whew, that was not easy, my friends. But it wasn't that hard at the same time. It's just like I definitely was out of breath at like 15 minutes. Rewarding myself with some kombucha. I'm gonna do that again for sure. I'm not I don't know like how often I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try and do it like Twice a week since I also spin listened to the Michael Bublé Christmas album <laughs> while I showered. It was incredible Um, I think I'm gonna mm -hmm, Am I gonna do a face mask? Yes, I am because I need to I'm gonna do a good old salicylic acid um, Mask from the ordinary. I'm just gonna put it on my chin wash it off because you don't keep this one on for super long. Today's ended up being a pretty good day. Just kind of going with the flow. I'm really into the saying that says, 
what flows flows what crashes crashes i don't know i just think that's really good it's just kind of like let it be just let it all go you know just like let it happen like obviously try to make things happen and put an effort when you need to but you know i don't know i think it's a good message because i for one like to plan out but sometimes your day doesn't go the way you might intend it to and you can actually really enjoy it if you give it a chance vibes are immaculate good stuff wow queen she looks so good working it all right guys it's been 10 minutes the next commercial break tiffany haddish just won best movie actress she's so funny um i'm gonna rinse this off it takes forever to get it off who truly knows if these masks work, but it feels like I'm doing something. For shampoo tonight, I used the Way Detox like Apple Cider Vinegar Shampoo. I love it. I love how my hair dries after it's put in. And I also have been loving this Way Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I'll link both the shampoo and this leave-in conditioner down below. I used to use, or I sometimes still use, the it's a 10 keratin spray, like detangler, but I love this Way stuff right now. It's just like a nice change. I've been using the It's a 10 stuff for literally years. Um, so, I don't know, I'm giving it a shot. It's super, it smells so good. I love the smell of all the Way products. It's all very similar. Um, and I love the way my hair feels and dries, like air dries after I use their products. So, pretty happy with it thus far. Sorry, I'm just trying to get quick, so I am back by the time the commercial's over. Tonight, we are going to use the, the Sunday Riley Sleeping Night Oil. I usually use the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic, but I just feel like putting this on tonight instead. And over top, I'm gonna put on the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant, because I had this from a PR package, and I just ran out of the Skin, skin Fix barrier plus one but it's like the same idea i try to put on some sort of serum and then a moisture a moisturizer over top to kind of soak it all in yeah that's my nighttime skincare routine gonna go watch the rest of the awards jay beebs all right good night delaney All right guys, I'm gonna get ready for bed. It's been a lovely Sunday. It was lazy yet productive. Yeah, just really good for the soul. It was a good day overall, I would say. Thank you guys for following me along. Comment down below any videos you guys want to see on my channel. I am gonna be doing Vlogmas. Get hyped for that. I am going to listen to my friend Zozo's new podcast. She was on Gals on the Go. Um, couple weeks ago and she's known on tiktok for doing visual manifestations and all kinds of things and i love her visual manifestations they're like imagine you're on the you know imagine you're in your taxi back from brooklyn into the city and everything's right in the world i don't know it's all these really cool inspiring things and so she created a podcast for her visual manifestations so she has two up right now so i'm listening to your happy place and i'm really excited just to hopefully it'll help me fall asleep I also think this is going to be my new journal, which is very fitting. This is Katie Bilotti's new line. I believe it's called Katie Bilotti Designs. And um, she sent me over this notebook, a wine glass, some other things. And I love this. It actually has no lines, which I think will be fun. I can doodle. I just like to have thinking time or feeling time. And I just write down how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. And I think this book is going to be perfect for that because it is okay. Everything's going to be okay. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of journaling, a little bit of listening to Zozo's thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm going to go to bed. I have a great start to the week now. I'll probably be filming a college week in my life this week. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.